Hey everyone, DJ Maniac Mike here for you, and tonight I have got another Shisha Tobacco review for you. And you guessed it, guys, by looking at the title, this is going to be Desi Murley Ponrosna. I recently got this from um, Ice Tray at hookahpro.com. Uh, also have another uh, from a while back, another sample of it that I got from a trade through. Uh, Chewy mating call. So, just wanted to give special thanks to both of those guys, Ice Tray and Chewy mating call, for allowing me to sample this flavor. Desi Murley is made in India and it is very just a black, wet, very fine cut tobacco, which uh, hopefully you can see a little bit there in the bag kind of reminds me of a potting soil with the cut of it and, and the color of it is very black uh, very fine uh, I mentioned that this is uh, I got it from a buddy or actually a couple buddies so if you're looking to buy online I would recommend hookah1.com that's hookah and then the number one dot com they have a very extensive uh, line of the uh, of the flavors. There's quite a few different flavors, so uh, highly recommend checking out hookah1.com for your Desi Murley needs. The smell of this, folks, is first thing I get is a uh, very nice smell of mint, along with um, just the the uh, tobacco notes as well. Desi Murley usually always has a very distinct crisp tobacco smell to it and I'm definitely getting that out of this. Uh, the Pudina I did a review on that actually yesterday and I mentioned that uh, the mint was um, very powerful and kind of uh, overpowering those tobacco tones but with this the mint is not quite as strong but that's definitely the predominant smell that I get out of it. Um, but I do get that tobacco smell along with a lot of different spices and to be honest I really kind of suck at depicting every spice uh, so I really can't tell you as far as that goes I did do a little research as far as what Ponrosna exactly is and it's kind of up in the air um, but for the most part I get a lot of spices what a lot of people say it's a uh, just a lot of spices with a subtle hint of mint and that's exactly what this is. I get a lot of spices with mint. Um, I've also heard it compared to a uh, kind of a variation of an Indian chewing tobacco that I don't know about and uh, another thing that I saw was it is a mixture of uh, pomegranate, rose, and cherry which I despise pomegranate I'm not big on rose or cherry uh, I guess I could stand them but I'm not big on them um, so with that I think I'll go ahead and get into the review I'm using my Can Kamanja Rosin Hose Crown Hookahs Micro Funnel Bowl uh, single layer of heavy duty Reynolds Wrap two rosin coals and uh, I've been going about I don't know, about half an hour now actually. Desi Merle usually takes a lot of heat to get it started up and some folks will say that it's not really um, going to produce very huge clouds but it's definitely going to give you the flavor. I myself you know don't have a lot of trouble getting clouds from Desi Merle. Um, I really don't know why because most folks I see get very little clouds but uh, either way, I'm, I'm very grateful that I'm able to enjoy it either way. So, with that, So I got decent clouds guys. I mentioned that you know it's been going about half an hour, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the wind cover on there, see maybe if I can uh, 
get those clouds a little bit bigger for you but they're definitely there not enormous or anything but definitely still full bodied on the exhale and very flavorful uh, first thing I get is the mint that I talked about that's probably the the predominant spice that I get um, but like the Pudina it's it's kind of a sweetened mint it definitely has a uh, has the tobacco undertones and a lot of different spices that I really don't know where to start to to pinpoint them. Um, I'm trying to think or trying to see if uh, I can pinpoint any of the pomegranate or the rose or the cherry and uh, I mentioned I wasn't a big fan of either three of those but if that's what's in this the mixture of the three along with the mint and the uh, and the tobacco tones it's a very good mix um, I recently had the pleasure of uh, at the time sampling a unreleased uh, social smoke flavor it hasn't been too long ago and I'm really not sure if it's been released yet so I'm not going to go into full detail about that but after I smoked it um, I was told that there was rose in it and it really threw me off because all the rose that I've ever had has been, you know, a very floral taste. And uh, I kind of get that with this. It's not floral, but I still kind of get that taste that I got from that unreleased social smoke uh, flavor. But that one was also mixed with other flavors too. So I think that if you mix different ingredients with other ingredients um, just the just the flavor the overall flavor the end result could be very pleasant and that's very well proven here to me with the uh, pon rosna because I mentioned I, I despise pomegranate I do I can sit here and badmouth pomegranate all night long guys but I'm not going to do it I hate pomegranate um, I don't mind rose I don't mind cherry I would say out of the three, Rose is probably my favorite. You know, and I really don't like either one of them, but Rose is probably the one that I would smoke the most of. Uh, if you're not a floral fan, I don't want you to get discouraged by me talking about this because, as I mentioned, it's not a floral taste. Because if it is mixed with pomegranate and cherry, it's a sweet, sweet type of uh, type of flavor. And again, I, the main thing I get is the mint and the tobacco and the actual tobacco. So, very nice blend in my opinion. And Desi Merle itself is quickly becoming one of my favorites. Probably some of the best stuff you can buy in the states. So, um, definitely check them out. And I always rate them high because I, I haven't been disappointed with any flavor I've had so far. Uh, Pudina is one of my favorites. I actually gave that a 10 for 10. Ruhafsa is another one of my favorites. And um, I'm going to have to say that this is one too. I'm definitely going to have to have it in my collection. And if you're a mint fan, a spiced tobacco fan, um, or a traditional black tobacco fan, I definitely recommend it. So go out and get it. Um, with that, guys, I'm going to be in my collection. I'm going to uh, recommend it. Holds true to. Uh, so I guess what it's supposed to be, because um, like I say, every review I've gotten of it, there's always a mint in there. So it smells and tastes alike, so it's very accurate. And I'm going to give it a 10 for 10. Desi Murley, Pon Rasna, 10 for 10, guys. Go out and check it out. And until next time, this is going to be DJ Maniac Mike signing out. Go get this stuff. Smoke on. See ya.